Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm going to show you what you can learn from the Roger Federer Toss to help improve your toss. Now, this video is courtesy of Essential Tennis, so make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I've put their link in the description below. Now, the first thing I actually want you to notice are his eyes and where he's looking. So before he releases the ball, he is looking at his target. And then when he releases, he then looks up at the ball. There are two places he looks, at his target and at the ball. So go out and film yourself and see if you have that focus that you look at your target and then you look at the ball when you release. Those are the only two places you should be looking. Helps you be more accurate with your serve and also make sure that you are focused on your toss. The second thing has to do with his tossing arm when he is lifting. You'll notice that his tossing arm is actually parallel to the net, or basically think of it as over the baseline. You'll see a lot of players, they actually reach out into the court, almost like they're reaching toward the net as they toss. And what that actually does is it leads to the toss going behind them. Get the toss next to you. It actually helps you to toss into the court. It's a bit of a J toss that actually helps you get coiling and you can see that he's coiled, he's showing his back to his opponent. But getting the toss actually be over the baseline as you're lifting, especially on the ad side when it's going to be even more prominent, is going to be able to help you get more power on your serve and also have a more accurate toss. Now, the third thing has to do with how he is holding the ball. He's holding the ball a bit like Karlovich, though Karlovich is even more extreme here. He's not holding with his palm facing up, but rather his palm is facing actually back, almost like he's holding a glass of water. And here's Karlovich doing exactly that. You'll notice that as he lifts his arm, just like Federer, he's got his arm more along his own baseline. He's not tossing this way into the court because when you toss forward into the court, what actually ends up happening is you end up tossing back. So one of the benefits of having the arm along your baseline as you release the ball is it actually helps you to toss into the court. And you can see that. Here's his release point, And then notice where he contacts the ball. He contacts the ball way out in front of that release point. That's the rainbow effect that a really good toss has. And one of the ways to do that is to actually lift the arm more along and more parallel your own baseline and net. But let's look at how he's holding the ball. This is what I was talking about. It's almost like he's holding a glass of water. We can see his palm is to the side. This helps eliminate elbow bend. As you're releasing, you're not going to be doing like a bicep curl, releasing the ball and making it more, you know, more inconsistent. And he's not going to be flicking the fingers or flicking the wrist in order to, to toss the ball. All he's going to be doing is lifting from the shoulder and he's just lifting and releasing like he's tossing a glass of water into the air. Man, does this make your toss a lot more consistent. Now, the next thing I already mentioned about Karlovich, but it has to do with only lifting from the shoulder. You know, you want your arm to only move from the shoulder hinge. That's it. You don't want to be bending your elbow, flicking the wrist, or rolling the ball off your fingertips. In fact, the most consistent tosses are a very dead spinning toss, meaning the ball does not rotate when it's in the air. So look at your toss and check to see that it's not spinning in the air because typically when it's spinning in the air, that is a result of the wrist flicking or the elbow bend. And it just means that your toss is going to be all over the place. So one thing you can do is go out and film yourself. Make sure that you are tossing like you're holding like a glass of water. That will mean that the only thing that's going to lift is your shoulder. Now, when you do this, it's important that you lift with your shoulder and you get your tossing arm all the way up. This is one of the hallmarks of the great servers is they get their arm all the way up into the air. You can see that he starts low, right? He starts down by his shorts and then he lifts it up. His release point is at head level. When the ball gets to head level, that's when he releases. Really important concept. But when he releases, he doesn't stop the arm here. This is what you see with so many recreational players. They stop the arm, and then they accidentally bring the arm down way too early. You don't want to drop that tossing arm too early. You want it to basically chase the toss, where you release the ball, and then you keep going up. It's almost like he's pointing and reaching up at the ball after he's released. That helps get the shoulder tilt correct, helps get the proper trophy pose, and makes it so much easier to have a fast and effective serve. Now, the last idea has to do with what you're going to do with your tossing arm 
as you start to knock the birthday head off with your racket. So watch as he's knocking the birthday head off with his racket. Watch what his tossing arm does. He's going to drop it out in front of him and then pull it in against his body. Watch this. Drops it down and then he pulls it in against his body. What this does is it quiets the body and slows the body's rotation down. And this is a reactive break. When you slow your body's rotation down, then your hitting arm speeds up. This is just like free power into the ball. So I want you to copy these ideas. I want you to go out, film yourself, and compare it to Roger Federer and, <laughs> and that little cameo there by Ivo Karlovich. But if you work on your toss and you do some things that the best players in the world do, there's no doubt, you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this!